Hi guys, Tom here. As you saw in the earlier videos, we have a new well that was dug earlier this week. And I've dug out the pressure tank, which was a buried pressure tank. And I've dug out to the bottom of the old well. This is the old well, down to where the pitless uh, adapter is. And now this is our new well casing and inside there is a four inch liner so I have to continue to dig down a little more here and then we're going to drill in our pitless adapter and we're going to hook up I'm still going to use my old pressure tank for now since everything's still working and we're going to take some uh, poly pipe and go from our new pitless adapter over to our old pressure tank so that's kind of an overview of what we're doing So they've got some of this well seal in here. It's bentonite, and I'm going to try and save that if I can. It's uh, it's to seal the well casing. So I've dug out the around the well down to about where I want the pitless. It's about three and a half to four feet underground, below the ground level. Uh, I've saved some of the bentonite. This is well seal. The well drillers put it around the casing uh, to fill up their hole. Uh, and it's supposed to seal the well. So once it hits water, it'll expand some. So inside of this well, there's a four inch liner down about five feet from the ground. So here's our new pitless adapter. This is gonna go down through the casing, down at the bottom of this hole. I'm gonna use a carbide tipped hole saw to drill the hole through the casing. The size that I need, this happens to be a one and three quarter which should give me enough, plenty of room to get the uh, nipple here through. I'll probably drill a pilot hole. You know, any, while this is open, anything can come in and fall in. A, a squirrel can jump in there or anything can contaminate your well. So you want to try to keep your well um, covered up. Okay, let's go drill a hole. Okay, I'm going to drill a pilot hole uh, for the hole saw. So this is an inch and a quarter diameter carbide tip spider tarantula. I'm pretty sure uh, that this will go through the casing. It's carbide tipped. It's a quarter inch steel casing, so it's uh, it's a little pretty healthy little drill job here. Let's see what happens. Looks like it's going to work. It may take a little while. Well, oh, there it is. That worked pretty good. So that, uh, that spider, the tarantula really worked well. It only took probably, I don't know, four or five minutes. I let my drill cool off a couple times uh, in the meantime. So that worked really well. I'm going to deep it a little bit with a file. That's some pretty good burrs on the inside and I don't want to mess up my gasket. Okay, now that we have our hole drilled in our casing for the pitless adapter, we're going to have to fish it down into the, the casing with a tool. I'm just going to use a plastic tool, um, and I'll probably use this to pull the pump as well on my old well, because the pump isn't very deep, it's only about a, it's less than 30 feet, and I also have a rope on it, so I can pull with the rope at the same time I'm pulling on this. Otherwise, you'd probably want to have a, if you have a deeper well and a heavier pump, you probably want to have a, a tool made out of pipe. Uh, steel pipe. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue this on to a piece of, this is a piece of Schedule 80, uh, and I'm just going to glue this on and that will be my tool. That's it. We'll let that dry for a while to make sure it doesn't pop off of there and then we'll fish our uh, pitless into the hole. Okay, let's fish the pitless adapter into the hole. There it is. There it is. Okay. Okay, we fished that in there, now we will put the washer and the nut on there. So we've put our, our rubber washer on there, and it's got a piece that is curved like the uh, radius of the pipe, and then a nut. So we're going to tighten those up now with a um, channel nut. This washer will deform uh, to the contour of the pipe, of the casing. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a uh, one inch nipple with the barbs on it. I'm going to use a plastic pipe to go from the new well to the old pressure tank. And I'm putting some Teflon tape on there. So we'll put that in and tighten it up. So I've shut the pump off. We've drained the uh, pressure tank into some buckets. And now I've broken this union on the old well. And I want to take out this nipple and put in a barb nipple and we're going to head that way with the new pipe over to the new well. I'm going to take the half of this union off so I have some room to remove that nipple right here. Okay, so I got the half of the union off. Take that please. Now we're going to pull this nipple in the other half of the union. Actually, I'd like to reuse the nipple, but it's, I have to take it off and get another wrench on it to get it out of there. So I've taken that union off and I took the nipple off of the pit, pitless side. Now I'm putting the nipple back on the house side, or the pressure tank side. Okay. Now I'm putting on a 1 inch 45 degree elbow. Now onto the 45 we're going to put another one inch barbed fitting for our plastic pipe. And I needed that 45 to get around our old well because that's in the way. That should be tight enough. 
All right, next step is to pull our old pump out of our old well and transfer it over to our new well. I'm going to use my plastic tool to separate the pitless And I'm also going to pull my rope. I'm not going to just pull on my plastic tool because it's not the strongest thing in the world. Okay. Ready? You going to pull on the pitman? Ready? Take the tool off. There it is. So we've added about four feet from here to the end of our drop pipe. This is the pipe that our pump sits on the end of. And that's way down here. We added four feet. That's going to get us down about ten feet off the bottom of our new well. Pump's going to stay the same. We've got our, our bowl line, our rope tied up to the pump so we can raise and lower it with that. So the next thing to do is go back in the hole and we're going to finish the uh, electrical. We have our new electrical run. We've put conduit on it. We're on 12-2 uh, with the ground, the underground rated wire. So next thing is the... Uh, water connection with the black poly between the new and the old wells. So let's do that. Here's our black poly. It's been sitting out in the sun for a while. Hopefully it'll just push right on. Well, it took both of us to jump down in here and push this on, so we couldn't get the video of us actually doing that. I'm gonna put two clamps on here on each side just for a little extra bite okay we finished tightening on the side of our new well I don't think that's coming off Okay, we got our new pitless on there. That's tight enough. All right, here we go. Bring your ladder a little closer. It's kind of hung up. Okay, time to set the pitless.
I need a light. Here it is. All right, we got her after a little struggle. <laughs> so we got our pitless reinstalled. Uh, it was a little crooked, the piece that's in the casing. It had twisted a little bit when we tightened it up. So once we straightened that out, it dropped right on. I've written on my um, cover of my well casing, the new depth of the well, which is 39 feet. The new pump set is set at 29 feet and it's 20 gallons per minute. So I'll screw that on in just a second. Oh, here we go. Here's the test. Plenty of water. <laughs> well, it's dry, isn't it? Yeah. That's why our well went dry, because it's so dry out here. Not anymore. We're good for now. Thanks for watching the video, you guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and maybe it'll help you out some way or another.